Hello, welcome to all scripture inspired channel on YouTube. Please be aware that this is not an official channel for the Watchtower and Tract Society. However, I am a baptized Jehovah's Witness who would like to share some important information with you from the Bible. This video has been designed to discuss the subject of what does the Bible really teach us about the Trinity? For a free download of magazines and other publications in either audio or digital format, please navigate to jw.org in your browser. What is the Trinity? The Central Doctrine of Religions of Christendom According to the Athanasian Creed, there are three divine persons, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, each said to be eternal, each said to be almighty, none greater or less than another, each said to be God, and yet together being but one God. Other statements of the dogma emphasize that these three persons are not separate and distinct individuals but are three modes in which the divine essence exists. Thus some Trinitarians emphasize their belief that Jesus Christ is God, or that Jesus and the Holy Ghost are Jehovah. Not a Bible teaching. How do we know? Let's look at the origin of the Trinity. In the Encyclopedia Britannica volume 10 page 176, it tells us that neither the word Trinity, nor the explicit doctrine as such, appears in the New Testament, nor did Jesus and his followers intend to contradict the Shema in the Old Testament. Yeah, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. The doctrine developed gradually over several centuries and through many controversies. By the end of the 4th century, the doctrine of the Trinity took substantially the form it has maintained ever since. So we learn here that the word Trinity is man-made and does it nowhere appear in God's written word. John Neil Mackenzie, S.J., in his Dictionary of the Bible, says, The Trinity of persons within the unity of nature is defined in terms of person and nature, which are G. Re. K philosophical terms, actually the terms do not appear in the Bible. The Trinitarian definitions arose as the result of long controversies in which these terms and others such as essence and substance were erroneously applied to God by some theologians. New York, 1965, page 899. What is the Holy Spirit? Some parts of the Bible refer to the Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost as a helper such as in John chapter 14 verse 16 and I will request the Father and he will give you another helper to be with you forever. 17 The Spirit of the Truth, which the world cannot receive, because it neither beholds it nor knows it. You know it, because it remains with you and is in you. You might think it has a personality in the sense that the Bible says it bears witness, speaks and ears. However, if we look at verses such as Luke 1 verse 41, we see that people can become filled with it. Well, as Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the infant in her womb leaped and Elizabeth was filled with Holy Spirit. Matthew chapter 3 verse 11 shows how a person can be baptized in Holy Spirit. 11 I, for my part, baptize you with water because of your repentance. But the one coming after me is stronger than I am, whose sandals I am not fit to take off. That one will baptize you people with Holy Spirit and with fire. Acts chapter 10 verse 38 describes how a person can be appointed by Holy Spirit. Namely, Jesus who was from Nazareth, how God anointed him with Holy Spirit and power, and he went through the land doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, because God was with him. We learn here that Jesus did not originally have Holy Spirit but was anointed with Holy Spirit and power. So can the Holy Spirit be a person or a God? If Holy Spirit is equal to God and Jesus, how can God given, or rather anointed Jesus with it? Is it scriptural to conclude that God and Jesus are not separate individuals? When we look at the account in Matthew 26, 39 we read, And going a little way forward, he fell upon his face, praying and saying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass away from me. Yet, not as I will, but as you will. 
If the Father and Jesus were the same person it is unlikely that he would be asking himself to do his will. How would you answer? Again in John 8 verses 17 and 18 we read. Also, in your own law it is written, single quote the witness of two men is true. I am one that bears witness about myself, and the Father who sent me bears witness about me. Here we learn that the Father, God, bears witness about Jesus who had sent him to earth to be amongst humans. Did God send himself to earth and bear witness about himself? No, clearly we see here that the Father and Jesus are two distinct individuals not the same person. Has Jesus always existed? What does the Bible teach? In Colossians chapter 1 verses 15 and 16 we read, He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, because by means of him all other things were created in the heavens and upon the earth, the things visible and the things invisible, no matter whether they are thrones or lordships or governments or authorities. All other things have been created through him and for him. Here we learn that God created Jesus who was the firstborn of all creation in God's image. This is similar how to human children reflect the image of their parents with the same characteristics. There is no argument here at all that Jesus came about by God's will and has not always existed. In fact the word firstborn appears some 15 times in the Bible, all with the same meaning of creature being the firstborn in the family. A God Jesus and Holy Spirit equal to each other. In Mark 13 verse 32 we read, Concerning that day or the hour nobody knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but the Father. So we learn of God's appointed time is only known to him and not even to his firstborn son or to the angels. Therefore, God must be far more superior to that of Jesus, Holy Spirit and the angels. In Matthew chapter 20 verses 20 to 23 we read, Then the mother of the sons of Zeb single quote de approached him with her sons, doing obeisance and asking for something from him. He said to her, What do you want? She said to him, Give the word that these my two sons may sit down, one at your right hand and one at your left, in your kingdom. Jesus said in answer, Your men do not know what you are asking for. Can you drink the cup that I am about to drink? They said to him, We can. He said to them, You will indeed drink my cup, but this sitting down at my right hand and at my left is not mine to give, but it belongs to those for whom it has been prepared by my father. So the father is far more superior having authority to assign individuals to sit at his right or at his left. Jesus humbles himself to his father's authority in this passage. Is Jesus God? Certainly not because John chapter 17 verses 1 to 3 tells us. Jesus spoke these things, and, raising his eyes to heaven, he said, Father, the hour has come, glorify your Son, that your Son may glorify you, according as you have given him authority over all flesh, that, as regards the whole, number, whom you have given him, he may give them everlasting life. This means everlasting life, their taking in knowledge of you, the only true God, and of the one whom you sent forth, Jesus Christ. So we learn that Jesus is separate to the only true God. To summarize, we learn that the idea of a trinity has been man-made and been subject to criticism. We also have learned that the Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost, though he has characteristics, can anoint people. People can be baptized in it and also people can be filled with Holy Spirit. We have also learned that Jesus is the firstborn of all creation. We have learned that Jesus submits to God's authority and that God and Jesus are two separate individuals. If you would like to learn more about what the Bible really teaches and how to become one of God's friends please navigate your browser to watchtower.org where you can request a free home Bible study discussion at a time to suit you. We never take collections as our work is solely funded by voluntary contributions. Bible discussions are conducted by Christians who lovingly donate their own free time and take a personal interest in those they meet. I hope that you enjoy this Bible-based discussion.
Publications audio and digital can be downloaded at jw.org. Alternatively, we can arrange to have these publications delivered to your home. Please contact your local Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses or visit watchtower.org.